What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. Don't forget to like this video. Once we consistently get like around 50 likes per video, I'm gonna have a giveaway. Yeah, giveaway, did I say that right? A good one? I was gonna say a good one. It's gonna be a good giveaway. <laughs> uh, let's, let's pull some cards. You guys remember that all of my readings are general readings. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. Um, the entire story might resonate with you as well, okay? Um, it might resonate with past parts of yourself, and it also might be something that could be happening in the future as well. Just take what resonates. What is the message, please, ancestors of the highest white light? I have the Queen of Cups here in the reverse position. I feel like the Queen of Cups has been coming up a lot. Um, just somebody either emotionally draining or somebody... Somebody was emotionally draining. Okay. This is a feminine energy who is emotionally draining, who's receiving some sort of karma. It's like they're... Something happened, there was like a halt to their manifesting, okay? And I feel like whoever this person is, they want to come back in. Okay, I have the Three of Swords, with the Two of Swords in the reverse position. I heard... heard unblock me I won't hurt you okay I feel like somebody's trying to manifest you with the magician here as well okay strength card I feel like you put an end to this like yeah, there's definitely like some dark magic that's going on here, I feel like. Okay, I feel like you put an end to this. We've got the strength card as well. This might be Leo energy, but I feel like what hap what really is, you put an end to this and you did it in a very graceful way. And I have the high priestess here in their reverse position as well. Oh man, this is, uh, let's pull. Let's pull a love oracle card and see. I'm hearing a lot of different things. There's a lot of different ways that the story could go, so let's just... Well, spirit, answer supplies white light. I'd like to clarify a little bit further, please. What is the message? Okay, this person might not feel like there was closure. Okay, but the reason that they don't feel like there was closure is because they were gaslighting you and they're a narcissist. Okay, so the this is coming, okay, this is, yeah, this is, there was, uh, I feel like the relationship that you were in is, is kind of created like a lack of confidence within yourself and um, it maybe even, um, there may have even been some like jealousy issues and that's why there was a, a separation too. That may have been the separation, but it could have just in general been that somebody was a little frustrated in the relationship and was noticing that, that by being in this relationship, honestly, it was like kind of sabotaging their ability to manifest, okay? So, all right, I'm really happy that I clarified because with the high priestess here in the reverse position, I was receiving the message like, listen to your intuition, but also the high priestess in the reverse position to me sometimes can be like, like dark magic or, you know, like somebody's, yeah, dark magic, like somebody's trying to manifest you without your consent. That's, that is negatively polarized magic, right? Okay. There might be somebody new who's coming in for you, um, who's somebody you might even currently be flirting with that is that wants to date you, so that's cool. Of course, why wouldn't they want to date you, right? Let's see, what else here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Whoever this ex is, they can feel that 
person coming in, the other woman. They can feel the other woman is what I'm hearing. So now the cards are not gender specific and if if you're, you know, male or female it doesn't matter, but that's just what I'm hearing, you know. So this could also be like the other man, but I, I I'm definitely getting like the other woman. Okay? So Mm, okay. Oh, cuz once you disconnect that's going to like really cut the cord. Okay? And on a soul level, they know that that's when This could also be somebody who is in like I'm seeing there's a few different scenarios that I'm seeing, okay? I'm seeing a masculine with a feminine without kids, but I'm also seeing a masculine and a, or a feminine with a masculine who shares custody of a child, okay? Just take what resonates, but it's almost like once you move on, that's that's going to like really cut the cord, and that person is going to end up getting their karma. Um, but I feel like whoever you are, you're, you've moved on, like you're happily single, you've been happily single for a while, you're just like living in the moment, um, like you're getting your confidence back. Interesting. So this could have been a twin flame, or you could be getting into a dynamic with a twin flame. Okay, you guys remember, just take what resonates. These are all general readings that little bits and pieces may resonate with everybody. Or, okay, I already said that, all right. Um, but this could be a twin flame who was embodying like a karmic energy so there was some unresolved issues that needed to be straightened out okay and I see that this person who hi Gilligan come on come here baby come here it's okay come on good boy this is Gilligan you guys <laughs> yeah, so okay good boy oh good boy and then Nina's over there sleeping on her couch I gotta show you guys I don't know. Can you see her? <laughs> oh, it's cat city over here. Okay. Anyways, back to the reading. Okay. Um, all right. It's like, I feel like whoever you are, you have moved on though. Like you, you've chosen a higher frequency soulmate. Okay. Or for some of you, this could be a karmic relationship that you ended and you are going to be um, meeting your twin flame. Um, I feel like moving forward, somebody who likes you, who you may or may not know likes you, um, is going to express this to you, is going to let you know this. What else? There are answers to this. Yeah, because we have a lightning card here. It's like sudden change. Um, I feel like this past person, though, just the... It was kind of like one of these things where you... I feel like you're a visionary and you're a seer. And you... Um, whoever this karmic is, too, they're very much caught in their head. Um... But they're just, they have like a very outdated way of thinking about things, and it's like, um, it's like what I'm hearing is that, like, you have conditioned yourself out of that, but they have yet to condition themselves out of that, if that makes any sense, okay? You may even be thinking about this person because they are, I think, like, replaying events in their head. Um, and maybe they're not intentionally manifesting you, like, but they are, um, trying to, okay? You know what I do for all of my exes? I always say a prayer that they'll meet someone and fall in love. Maybe you should do the same. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so, let's see, what else, Spirit, answers to the text like? What do you think about that, Gilligan, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this
this, uh, whoever this person from the past is also, it, it really could have even started as like a flirtation. Um, and was very like, um, okay, so now this is kind of like another story that I'm hearing. This, um, yeah, it's like, it was very, I'm hearing primitive, very like flirtatious, primitive. It just never really evolved past that stage, okay? But I feel like you evolved past that stage. So that's why the universe is bringing in someone new for you. It's like this person, like, maybe that's the outdated thinking too. It's like, um, it's like, what I'm hearing is it's like, you're the type of person where like, you understand what a, what a relationship dynamic really is supposed to do. Like the sacred directive of relationships is to mirror each other in a way that helps us to evolve, right? Um, and mirror and support our, each other in love, right? So, but it's almost like this relationship, this past relationship was just like a lot of hooking up and it was just really like, it was just really karmic. It was temptation. It was like, it was just really superficial, you know? Um, and it didn't really lead to any type of um, like spiritual growth for you, which is the sacred directive of relationships, right? Um, I do feel like whoever you are, you are a sexual empath and that hooking up in that, that, that sexual relationship that the two of you had, uh, it did uh, create like a, a sort of mirroring between the two of you, you know, the, the energy was exchanged, right? Um, so I'm seeing that moving forward things are going to be a lot easier for you, um, you know, yeah, here with the death card. Um, it's over. Like, it's, like, you're, um, like, you, you've, you know, had the, the death and rebirth, right? And then we've also got the ascending card here, okay? So, like, you, you are ascending, expanding, and also preparing for a union, it looks like. What else? Spirit answers to the high score, right? You might even be feeling like sad because this person might be sad thinking about you too. Just, I feel like whoever you are, you brought a lot of direction into this person's life. So it's like, they feel like they don't have any direction. They feel really insecure. You might even be feeling that, okay? But I also feel like you, like with this ascending card, you've kind of like come out of those feelings, so to speak. So, you know, just make sure that you are continuing to keep your boundaries um, and or just r remain em emotionally grounded really that's honestly the best thing that you can do apathy right or there's this new term that I just learned it's called a uh, to gray rock someone it's you know it's just being indifferent um, being completely indifferent that is like that's the best way to cut off any type of a soul tie that you don't want to be with or in, right? For this life or any other lives, future lives. Um, what else, Spirit? Anything else? Love call. I just hear, I'm hearing this song by NCT127. I can hear it calling from where you are, loving the way you want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a long distance relationship too. What else do I answer to what I saw, like? You guys, if you think about it, don't forget to write in the comments too, like what kind of crystals you feel like you're vibing with or something that you've always wanted. Um, or just even, you know, that even, um, yeah, do that. Cause like I said, I'm gonna have a giveaway. So and I'm just, you know, kind of picking your brains to see, to see what we should do there. Okay. Um, what else for anything else? Yeah, I also feel like in this relationship, like you were triggered a lot and it's like the message I'm receiving is that like during the separation period, you spent a lot of time healing. However, this person did not spend time healing. 
okay? And, and that internalized as resentment. So that's not healthy, okay? Let's pull um, another oracle card here. Healing heart. You are a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. This is interesting. Um, this this card is very interesting because with Queen of Cups in the reverse position, I was also thinking that this might even be like a mother figure or a mother, but like an older maternal. Anyways, I have mother healing here. So as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Okay, now this is the thing with this, the mother healing. It's, um, even if you're no contact, because if this is a narcissist, you know, even if you're no contact, like you can, your feelings towards anyone really can heal. Even if this is like a past karmic relationship, but as your feelings towards how about your past heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. But like I've told people, sometimes it's it's a lot easier and healthier for me to love people from far away, which when I love them from far away, I can keep my frequency high. You know what I mean? So if you are like like don't get it twisted like this I remember getting this deck years ago and like and I was thinking like well what if somebody you know is no contact like that's you, you know you can still be no contact and you can still you know have good feelings towards people right and um accept heaven's help alright so um maybe you've been praying for help it's coming, um, yeah, so get out of the way, heaven's gonna help, okay, I hope that this reading helps, um, I'm sending you guys so much love, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for being here, I love you guys so much, until next time.